Since it's solid ground, it's like a little swimming pool. So follow along as I document the whole process of transforming this derelict piece of land into a food forest. Hi and welcome back. Today we're planting our first tree on the property. I know it's a bit early for that because technically this property isn't even mine yet. It's still in the process of Spanish bureaucracy but I took part in an um, agroforestry workshop last week at Sakenti, which is a really cool project in the south of Mallorca. And um, for helping them to create their food forest, I got a um, little pomegranate tree as a present. So um, I'm gonna put this in the ground and hope it will survive, even though I'm not permanently living on Mallorca right now. Sakenti is a really cool project. They already have an established food forest, uh, which is uh, about three years old. And it helped a lot for me to see how fast plants can actually grow in this climate and which trees um, can be well combined together. And they also have a Miyawaki forest, which is an afforestation method I will talk about um, soon. Uh, which I also want to implement on this property, which is really, really interesting. And it was really great to see what they're doing. And it has been a great inspiration for me. I will put the link of Sakenti in the description below. I haven't figured out exactly where I'm gonna plant what uh, at this stage of the project because I'm still developing the whole permaculture design um, for the plot but I'm pretty sure this is a good spot because it's very close from uh, the main entrance so whenever I'm here I will pass it and I can take care of it um, as good as I can until I can finally move on the property and um, be here full time. Pomegranates grow on a fairly small tree throughout the Mediterranean region. The fruit is in season from October to February. The trees can get quite old, some of them up to 200 years. The seeds are quite difficult to get out of the husk, but it's definitely worth it. They are packed with vitamins, minerals and fibers, and up to three times more antioxidants than green tea or red wine. There are many studies that suggest that pomegranate reduces blood sugar levels and blood pressure. Even the husk is used for medicine as it is supposed to prevent cancer. Pomegranates have been cultivated for thousands of years and are mentioned by the ancient Greeks, the ancient Egypts, in the Bible, the Torah and the Quran. So to plant this little tree, I bought um, some tools. I bought my first shovel, uh, I have gloves, a little bit of fertile soil because as you can see, there is not much growing on here at the moment. And so I thought it might help for sure if um, this little tree gets a little kickstarter to get going. And of course some water. I will also get some soil tested later this month to see what this soil is actually missing or where the problems are and what I can do to make it more fertile or actually to make it possible for trees like the pomegranate to grow. But that's for another video. Thank you. 
rock about 15 centimeters below the surface which is um, gonna be a, literally a really rocky start for, for this little tree but um, yeah since it's just an experiment and I just have to put it in the ground now because it's not gonna survive otherwise um, I'll just give it a try and see if it survives. And usually I would soak it in water first but since I don't have a pot yet I'll just fill up this hole with water to help the roots to um, detangle and since it's solid ground it's like a little swimming pool. Then it's always best to um, tickle the roots a little bit so the, the tiny roots can already get into um, new soil and won't, um, won't get stuck in the shape they have been in, in before and I'll just fill that hole with fresh compost mixed with some soil from here little branches as mulch which means I'll just um, cover the soil um, which will help the, to shade the soil and keep it more moist so this little plant um, will have an um, easier start in life um, even though it's already autumn now and it should be raining more frequently uh, even in Mallorca. And then I'll try to create a little basin around the tree um, because we're on a slight slope, I will make a little rock wall below the tree so whenever it rains and um, the water that comes from uphill will collect in this basin and um, sink in and so the tree has a better chance of surviving in this early stage. So the structure will be only one rock high, so it's not gonna be like a, a pool or um, water won't really pool up here. When the water flows down, it just has a little barrier and um, not just water will uh, stop and slow down for a second and have time to sink in, but also organic matter will start to accumulate um, where the rocks are and that will long term um, will be able to be used by the plant as um, fertilizer.
I'm on the property, I will check on the little tree, um, take some water with me, and make sure it survives this at least these couple of months. I'm um, not living here full time, or might be more than a couple of months. You never know. And um, yeah, let's hope it will grow and. Uh, Maybe one day it will produce uh, some very nice fruits for all of us and if it struggles here in this uh, place or as soon as I know uh, more about the soil I can still transplant it and put it somewhere else where it feels uh, more comfortable. I think with the um, tools and the capacities I have now at this moment uh, which is no water on the property and uh, no other tools than a little shovel. Uh, I think um, that's the best I could have done to um, keep this alive and we'll see how, um, how it goes.